everyone, welcome to my channel, Brews Review, and today I am super excited because I have my Ready Festive box. So this is my Ready Festive box. I'm so excited. It is the spring edition. I actually got the small box. You can choose three different sizes and I'll go over them with you. You get personalized decor based on your preferences, eight holiday plus four seasonal boxes to choose from, and there's three box sizes. So the mini, which is $59, that's what I have. The standard is $89, and then the deluxe is $149. So you do have a styling quiz, and then they also send you um, like items to choose from, and I will show you those in a little bit. Um, I did take a screenshot so I could show you um, here what were some of the items to choose from. I don't know if they send those specifically, what items you prefer, but you do have a preference and you can put like preference one and two and that type of thing. So you can get a spring, a summer, a winter, fall. They also have holiday themed boxes. Valentine's, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, 4th of July, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Hanukkah, and Christmas. I do like how they include Hanukkah. So I did take a screenshot of the items to choose and I'm just trying to scroll to find them now. Okay, so when you're, when they're about to style your box, when they're about to do it, you have choices, uh, spring and Easter themes. And I'll show that here as I go through. The, the first one is folk um, style. Then we have the minimalist, which is very basic. The rustic farmhouse. Four pastels. Five is Sheen Rosary. And then number six is Modern Farm. So I don't, I wonder which one I chose. I don't remember. Um, hmm. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I did go ahead and just kind of open the tape up. They do have it packed in here. Okay, share the best and then here's the inside. I really do like this packaging. I think it's really pretty. You have this really nice paper, very festive uh, sticker. Happy spring. Create a spring cocktail or mocktail and decorate for spring. So just kind of getting into the spring of things. On the back they do tell you, you can visit their Instagram page if you need inspiration ideas. And this is so cute. <laughs> this is so me. First thing I see here, I must have picked pastels. That must have been my choice. Is this really cute Easter sign. Happy Easter. And it has the different color bunnies. It looks like the chicks. What do they call them? I kind of like the peeps. This is a nice solid block of wood. And it's rustic Merlin's. Handcrafted in the U.S. So that's pretty neat. It is distressed around the size. That is super cute. This is something that's going to be around a really, really long time. Okay, so I will put it up here as well. You could have picked from several different signs. They do give you a first choice and a second choice. This actually, I believe, yes, Hoppy Easter, Hoppy, Hoppy Easter was my number one choice and that is what I got. Um, they had several of other different signs. Like I said, I'll show you up here. They have a um, Happy Spring, Sweets, Treats, Blessings, uh, He is Risen, What Up Peeps, that's cute too. We have a cross with hope and uh, some other choices. So that is that. 
Now, I wonder if I got my first choice for my towel. All right, and so I did get a kitchen towel and it was my first choice. It's just this, again, Rustic Marlin. Happy Easter, I love the colors, the pastels, the pinks with the teal. I like that a lot, that's really cute. Uh, dish towel. It is 100% cotton, high quality fabric. Uh, painted with love in the United States, machine wash cold water, and tumble dry, iron as needed. So I like that, and like I said, that was my first choice. There was other towels you could have chosen. Um, there was one with like Easter eggs on it, a real pretty one with some flowers in a vase, a cross. Uh, number six is like a with a bunny on it. Seven is a spray. Those are the different towels you could have chosen, which I like a lot as well. I like I like several of them. I see here just a little, I don't know what, a little bunny. It's just a cute little bunny uh, made of wood. It's got this cute little cotton tail on it. This is just a cute little decoration, little plaid pink decoration it is very distressed again this is something that's going to last a very long time and then is this the last one i have i believe this is so i did get the smaller of the i did get the mini so i have the four items and the last item oh okay Wow, that's cute. It's just this cute little pillow. <laughs> so I have this rabbit with the bunny ears and a little chick with bunny ears on top of it. It is blue. Um, and I like here that it will unzip. And it's got the pillow underneath it. So if I needed to take this off and wash it, I would be able to do that. What a cute little pillow. That's just fun and cute. Okay, to go over the Ready Festive box, I do have this cute wooden bunny, this block Hoppy Easter, a decorative pillow, And this towel here. Now, I didn't mention that with the $59, with the mini box and the standard box, it's a $10 shipping fee. And if you were to get the larger box, it's $20 fee. I can't say I'm bowled over by this box. It it would mean that each item in this box would have to be about, oh, about $13. About $13, 13, probably $13.50, if I did the math in my head correct. And this is not worth $13.50. The dish towel's cute, not $13.50. This is cute, probably could get on sale at Michael's. So I'm not really bold over. I really did like the uh, Christmas items. The $10 shipping fee is what's really pushing me over the edge here. If I went to like the store, went to Michael's and I picked these five items and I went to the register and it was $59, I'd probably be putting some things back. That being said, it is really nice quality. It's just a fun box to get. You do have several other, um, Things you could have chosen, a doormat was one of them, and I have a picture here of the different doormats you could have gotten. One just says hello there, uh, one with a bike and flowers, right on in, cute, uh, and a couple other choices. I think I'm gonna put off the summer one and save it to Halloween. I think my next one will be a Halloween box, maybe fall maybe fall, but I'm thinking more 
Halloween holiday. So we shall see. I will let you know. Again, I think this box was a little pricey. So what did you guys think of the box? Did you like having the different items that you could choose? Uh, what do you think of the value of the box? I just want to thank you guys for being here today. I really appreciate it. I would love if you hit that like and subscribe button and until next time.